Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Would you join me? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let everything that have breath praise the Lord. And I am breathing this morning. And if you can hear me, it means that you are breathing also. And let's praise the Lord. Let's just praise the Lord this morning. I am glad that you took the time to listen to this devotion. And I trust that morning after morning that your heart has been encouraged and that you will take this devotion and share with someone else who may need a word of encouragement. You may never know. You may not get a chance to go to witness to the person, but you can use uh, devotions like these. Just share them around uh, with your friends and uh, your loved ones. God has laid it on my heart to come every week morning and share with you a devotion from the Word of God. And I want to thank you so much for listening and trust that these devotions are encouraging your heart. Give your best to the Master. Not else is worthy His love. He gave Himself for your ransom. Give up His glory above. Lay down His life without murmur your sins ruin to save. Give your heart's adoration. Give him the best that you have. That's what we are looking at morning after morning. And this morning, I want to answer the last question for you. I'll give you an answer to the question. Why should we give our best to the master? I said to you that we should give our best to the Master because He is worthy of our best. I said to you that we should give our best to the Master because He has given His best for us. This morning, I am saying to you, we should give our best to the Master because only by giving Him our best, we enjoy His best. Only by giving our best, we enjoy His best. I trust that you have made up your mind to give Him your best. The moment of dedication was for Mary the happiest moment of her life. From there onward, she would begin to enjoy a deep, joy, a deep peace with the Lord. In John the 15th chapter and in verse 11, here's what the scripture says. These things have I spoken unto you, that my joy might remain in you, and that your joy may be full. I believe that Mary became so joyful when she gave him her best. The scripture is in Mark 14. And being in the Bethany, in the house of Simon the leper, as he sat at meat, there came a woman having an alabaster box of ointment of spike knot, very precious, and she broke the box and she poured it on his head. And there were some that had indignation within themselves and said, why was this waste of ointment made? For it might have been sold for more than 300 pence and have been given to the poor and they murmured against her. And Jesus said, Let her alone, why trouble ye her? She had wrought a good work on me. For ye have the poor with you always, and whensoever ye will, ye may do them good, but me you have not always. She had done what she could. She has come aforehand to anoint my body to the burying. Verily I say unto you, Wheresoever this gospel shall be preached throughout the whole world, this also that she hath done shall be spoken of for a memorial. Mary is dead and gone long time ago. But here it is still, even though Mary is dead and gone. Oh, this morning you are still hearing about when Mary gave her best to the Lord. 
Jesus reminded us that wherever that gospel will be preached, that truth will be preached, what she did will serve as a memorial. What is it that stands out in the mind of God in regards to what you gave to him? In my mind, what stands out in the mind of God to what I gave to him? Why should I give him my best? Because only by giving him our best, we enjoy his best. You see, she knew what it meant to have an abiding peace. She had joy, but she knew what it meant to have peace in God. In John's Gospel, chapter 16, and in verse number 33, the Bible says, These things have I spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation. Be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. I tell you, there is nothing better than having the peace of God with you. Oh, and having the God of peace with you. And here is this woman giving her best to the Lord. And I am sure that that brought her joy. And not only that it brought her joy, it brought her peace. All of this comes about when we have given our best. When one gives nothing, there is nothing to enjoy. When one gives little, then there is only little that one can enjoy. But may I say to you today, when one gives much, when one gives his or her best or all, then we will be careful to see how precious he is and what we have. Peter reminds us in 1 Peter chapter 2, reading from verse 7, he says, Unto you therefore which believe he is precious, but unto them which be disobedient, the stone which the builder disallowed, the same is made the head of the corner. What am I trying to say to you today? You and I should give him our best because by giving him our best, we enjoy his best. You can't buy peace. You can't buy joy. Yeah, you may have a little bit of happiness for a little while, but it doesn't bring peace. You cannot buy hope. And what a hope that we have. He says, if only in this world we have hope, we are of all men most miserable. And the hope that we have goes beyond this life. And that is, at any time now, the trumpet could sound and Jesus Christ could appear in the clouds and every one of us that know him as Lord and Savior will be caught up together to meet him in the air and so shall we ever be with the Lord. That's not our premier speaking. That's not your president speaking. That is the Lord Jesus Christ himself speaking that he will come for us who know him as Lord and Savior. And Peter writes and he says, Unto you therefore which believe, he is precious. So precious is Jesus, my Savior, my King. I don't know about you, but he's precious to me. I cannot live my life without him. My thoughts are always on my Lord and Savior. And I thank him for all that he has done for me. My dear friends, today, if you don't know what you can give, the devotion morning after morning reminded you what you can give. And if you ask the question, why should you give him your best morning after morning? I've shared with you that we must give him our best because he's worthy of our best. Give him our best because he has given his best. We must give him our best because only by giving our best, we enjoy his best. I trust that these words have encouraged your heart and that you have determined to give him your best. Father, thank you for giving your best for us. You did not hold back. You gave your best. You gave your all. Thank you. And God, you have provided, oh God, salvation, eternal life. We thank you, dear God. And this life is in your Son, free for all. 
just for the acts. And you said, if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in thine heart, thou shalt be saved. Lord, may many cry out to you today, O oh God, for salvation, giving you their lives, their hearts, and God, and then giving their best. Thank you for all you have done and all that you're doing. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God bless you all. Do have a great day. Love you in the Lord.